I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. <laughs> she might be. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody, to The Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are playing this game on Supernova, Hardest Settings. Uh, I just uh, took a couple of moments before, it's only been about a few minutes be, uh, before I left off in the last video, and uh, looked a couple things up on the internet, uh, and I learned some important things. So first of all, if we go to the map, and we fast travel back to our ship, which is the only place we can fast travel, what that's going to do is that's going to create a save point right where we left off. And then what we can do is we can reload the game and we'll, we'll start right here. And we can do that from any spot on the map, uh, according to what I read. So that's that's actually really cool. I thought we had to actually sleep to save, but that's not the case. We, 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 we save the game when we do the fast travel. Uh, I also learned that there's actually a cot um, across from the workbench on the ship that we can uh, sleep in. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and fast travel back to the ship now. And that's going to give us the save point. Now we're not going to be able to reload that save point because of the fact that, excuse me, we have to we have to sleep. Uh, so we'll have to just run back there this time around. But at least we know that that's the way that it works. Okay, so let's head on back in here because uh, I, I need to. I want to take care of the sleep issue. So the cot is right here. Look at that. And I, I must have walked past that a couple several times, but I just didn't notice it. And the, the tips that I read said it, it's actually hard to miss this too. Okay, so let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, I don't know how long we have to actually sleep for to get all of our rest back. Let's just test this theory. Even if we sleep, resting in bed is relaxing and moves time forward. Supernova difficulty, you can only rest in your bed on your ship. Okay, so let's um uh let's just sleep for So six hours is the minimum. All right, if we just sleep for six hours. Yep, wait, wait, did that? Yeah, that gave us all of our sleep back. Okay, very good. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat and drink and get that taken care of too. So let's chow down on this apple. I don't know if different types of food give you uh, carbohydrates, 200% natural health regeneration. Does carbohydrates and protein actually matter, though, like it would in a game like, say, um, Scum? I don't know. Well, let's eat this because then we can actually, uh, you know, free up a slot from there. Spacer's Chaw. Nicotine High. Range Weapons Spread Minus... Fi oh, wow, that gives us some nice buffs. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Nickel pad, nicotine high, range weapon spread, minus 50, range weapon sway, minus 50, range, nicotine low, range weapon. Okay, so I think what this means is that we get a buff for a while, and then we have to go through like a withdrawal for a debuff. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, for beverage, what do we got here? Caplet, this mushroom which increases intelligence for a short time. Insight, tactical, time dilation, recharge. Okay, so that's like a buff. Uh, bread noodles. I think this is just normal food. So let's eat that as well. Uh, I wish it would tell you, though, in this menu where your food is. Because otherwise you have to go uh, here and go to... One of the, okay, yeah, this details tells you if you're still thirsty or hungry, uh, or, you know, you can see from the little menu up above there. Okay, interesting. Uh, all right, so let's see. This is, uh, we need to eat one more thing, thing of food. So let's, that's like chewing tobacco, I guess. All right, let's just eat a, another a banana. Oh, we could have eaten this, I guess. That would have freed us, freed us up a slot, too. Uh, looks like we're still not fully, fully fed. So let's eat another banana. 
Now we are. Okay, now we need a drink because... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Dog, on it. All right. Uh, we need a drink because we're very thirsty. So... I'm just trying to th see if they give you different amounts. The different beverages and all that. I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's take that. Yeah, that brought us up a little bit. That brought us up a little bit more. I I, I want to say they're the same. Sugary drink body attributes plus one lasts for 30 seconds. So it, would, it wouldn't be a bad idea to pop one of these right before a fight, you know, just because you get those attributes up. I think that's why you would use this in a normal game if it wasn't Supernova, because otherwise, you know, you don't normally have to eat or drink. Huh. Yeah, okay, we'll have to we'll have to kind of keep an, an eye on on those buffs. Uh for sure. Uh but let's um let's keep the apple juice and we'll just keep drinking these. Okay, good. So we are back to full. Um full rest, full food, and full drink. 200% natural health regeneration and sugar drink is body attributes for 27 minutes. I wonder if that's real time minutes or in game minutes. Um, let's head on. Let's go back out here. Okay, let's look at it again. Yeah, 19 minutes. So that's in game minutes. Okay. Well, let's keep that in mind, you know, for, for a fight. But now we know how to save. That's the more important thing because uh, I was a little confused on that. In fact, what we might even do is go back to right before we fight that robot and then do another fast travel, you know, to the ship and then reload and then that'll give us basically that save point in case we, you know, we bite the dust again. I don't I don't really agree with that on, you know, hard, hard, the hard mode on some of these games with the saving thing. I think Fallout 4 did that too in the vanilla game as well. Uh, however, when I last time I played Fallout 4, I had a mod that overrode that so I could still save when I wanted to save. Um, actually, we're done with this guy, too. Let's turn... or done with this quest, so let's turn this on. Oh, here's another thing I learned. If you hold the R key, you holster your weapon, because I was talking about that in a couple of episodes ago, too. You know, not holding your weapon when you're talking to people, because it looks like you're holding them up. All right, let's talk to Silas. Lovely to see you above, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. What the hell are you talking about? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Oh. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. Um... Yeah, none of my business. Something I can do for you? Um, okay. I, how about those fees you wanted? You run into any trouble? Oh, you know what? I could ask him about Eugene. He's the guy with the gold teeth. Uh, all right, well, let's turn the question. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's going to take some getting used to. 360 XP. Um, okay. Persuade six. I went out of my way for you. Okay, we got reputation back with him, too, which is good. Abernathy was trying to hide his own illness. Oh, wow, look at that. 300 bit cartridges. Very nice. You have lost Abernathy's gravesite fee. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Okay, I just turned him in. Um, so is this me like trying to get more money out of him? And I'll buy you a drink sometime. <laughs> okay. Um, I was hoping for something more tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Ah, oh, we got more money out of him. Nice. All right, let's ask him about Abernathy. Abernathy was sick with the plague. That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. Dude, you handle plague dudes all the time. Uh, yeah, isn't that the way why you wanted me to collect his fees? I needed his fees because of his name. A, for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, what? see? <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? Um, let me ask you about something yeah. else. Um, uh, so it doesn't look like I can ask him. Oh, nice. Like we can ask him about Eugene unless we talk to him again. Grave digging's a fine profession. 
Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't. Oh yeah, we need to talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? Uh... You first, I know you buried him. That, that doesn't really make sense. I read a letter from Phyllis. She mentioned digging him up for his gold teeth. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed oh, to really? be. Oh, really? The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When but... I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away. Vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. <laughs> uh, Alright, this is getting a little too absurd for me. Let's change the subject. No, um, I'm going to... I'm going to bet that it was the Marauders. I'll keep an eye out for them, I guess. Let me know if you find anything. Maybe, but I might have to relieve him of his gold teeth first. <laughs> okay. I really like this game. This is fun. All right. Let's go to, um, back to Huzma, was it? Come on. Come on there, Pavardi. See, I don't know if my character particularly likes Pavardi, but um, he he recognizes that she's useful to have along because A, she knows the area, and B, she, I can have her carry my stuff. So those are some pretty good reasons. Okay, so let's head on back down here. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Well, no, let's just let's. Well, actually, yeah, let's scale up first. Okay, so we've got ten points. Now, I think we want I think we want to get science up to 20 because then we can tinker and, and tinker allows us to upgrade our weapons and you know make them like a higher tier. So, um the science skill increases damage of plasma shock damage weapons, also improves special effects for science weapons, higher science skill unlocks ability to tinker any weapon uh or armor at the workbench, increasing their power. So, let's Throw some points into here until we get science all the way up to 20. Okay. Um, and then uh, leadership and determination in particular is really good for our companions. So we probably should look at that at some point. I want to keep pumping, you know, sneak and lockpick and all that sort of thing. But we also, we also need to get a little bit better, I think, with our guns. Uh, we're probably not going to do a whole lot of melee um i mean that's going to be kind of like like more of an emergency situation for us we, we want to try and use guns and we want to use sneak attacks because we're you know playing on such a hard difficulty so that being the case we want to make sure that we have good gun skills uh, but we want to you know keep putting stuff into our dialogue too so we're gonna um you know because we're not planning on doing melee stuff uh, i don't think i'm gonna put any points into that but uh, let's let's get ranged some love too. Okay, cool. So that takes care of that. Um, e for apply. All right. Now I don't think we can do perks. Yeah, we have to. We we get a perk every two levels, I believe. All right. That gives us just some statistics about. Uh, where we're currently at cool reputation so we're back to wait a minute i thought we oh okay so we got 40 percent positive two percent name so we're effectively at 12 percent uh in the in the good with spacer's choice excellent okay so let's go ahead and um, we, let's go ahead and do the quest for this guy since we're here. I'm assuming it's nearby. So let's go to journal, um, and die robot. That's what we want to do. Uh, Ludwig Miller, a guard watching over the landing pad south of Edgewater, is convinced that auto mechanicals are planning to wipe out humanity. He's asked you to help him wage a secret war against the mechanical menace. Okay, deal with the mechanical scout. Ludwig reports that he spotted a forward scout of the mechanical army north of the landing pad. As a test of your metal, he's requested that you dispose of the scout in the name of humanity. All right, so north of the landing pad, it's over that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to get close 
uh, to the the robot dude here. Uh, but then we're going to do another save. Okay. Now, in terms of save scumming, which if you don't know what that means, it means you, you save like a, a whole bunch of times. Uh, I'm not going to... I will save before I go like into a boss fight or a fight, but you know once we engage it We're gonna see it all the way through before we save again um, That's kind of the rule that I follow when I play games like this But we do want to save before we go into because if we don't and we die We've got to do all that shit all over again And I don't have time for that and you guys don't want to see me do it all over again So you know that's why we're gonna, why we're gonna do this. Okay, so that means uh, what we do is we go here and we fast travel Oh Okay we're too close to hostiles. Let's get back over here. Let's see if this is far enough away. What? Really? How far away do we have to be from this, guys? Let's try here. There we go. Alright, so we'll fast travel here, and then what we'll do is we'll reload the game. And, uh... I'm just trying to see if there's something on my screen indicating that it just saved. All right, let's go load game. And, um, small grave mantle lever three. So this is the one here. Load selected save. Yeah, that they, they really, you know, with these kind of games, they need to not do that. I mean, give us the ability to save. Make everything else hard like you're doing. That's great. I love the food and the drink and the survival aspect. I don't have a problem with that at all. It makes the game even more fun, but... Jeez Louise, let us save when we need to save. Okay, so this is the robot dude we have to kill. Um, I don't want you to get hurt. So what we're going to do with you is we're going to... Uh, where's the thingamadoodle here for you? Here we go. Uh, I want you to only use ranged. So that way you're not getting in close and getting yourself hurt. And let's also have you stay far away and defensive aggressive will keep you defensive. Okay? Because um, if she dies, she's dead. I don't get her back. She doesn't like just stand back up later on uh, on this mode. Okay, so we're going to sneak. <laughs> and we're going to kill this guy. Uh, what weapon should we use? Does this... I think this weapon just does physical, right? Yeah, because I think shock is supposed to be good against robots, but I don't want to... Uh, I'd rather not melee him if I don't have to. Probably the shotgun's going to be our best bet. But we got to hit the, the blue thing thingamadoodle on him too, so... Where is the blue thing thingamadoodle? He's already damaged too. Is he? Ah, oh, he ain't no threat. Bet I could fix him up smart. Is he not even hostile? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ah. All right, let's switch to to this. Um, Pavardi? <laughs> what are you doing? I told you to stay far away. Target not found. Target located. Target located. Do we know how much health he's got? Is there like a health bar on him or something? <laughs> Trying to oh yeah, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Got him. He took one down. All right, an energy cell and armor parts. Very nice. So we'll take all those. Our, our health is restoring or, or regenerating, rather. So whoop, wrong button. All right, before we go back, uh, let's loot. Sounds looks like we'll get most of our ammo back. A combat drone. Wait, what? Oh, that's a container. Interesting. Lots of good stuff back here. 
What does this do? Oh, wow, look at all this stuff. Nice. Frozen dinner. We'll take that. Bread. Nothing in the fridge. That's the, the toity. Looks like that's a bunk of some sort. Tarmac and cheese, salt tuna. Another light pistol. A nickel pad. Okay, cool. Anything else we can loot? Nothing in that combat drone. It is inter interesting that there are combat drones back here, though. Makes me wonder if uh, Ludwig's maybe not as crazy as we think he is. Energy cells, Adreno. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Uh, nope, here's something right here, too. Hold that down. That's out, out in back of the cannery. What's that noise? Oh, it's just these little guys here that they're actually <laughs> that they're actually using for uh, their uh, salt tuna instead of actual tuna that we found out in the last episode or two episodes ago. It's like crushed junk. More fat loots there. Oh yeah, I remember going out this door here. Can't go inside of there though. Oh, look at that. Nice, a sawed off shotgun. Oh, that's what we already have, okay. Where does it tell us? Uh, okay, so it's still, Oh, 94%. Okay, yeah, so it's still doing the same damage as this one. Excellent. Somebody's been playing cards back here. Well, there's plenty of ammo to loot in the game, so that's good. Can't go in there. Okay, let's go turn this back in. I mean, I could spend hours, you know, looting... And just looking at all the nooks and crannies. And I do like to do that to some extent, but, you know, I don't want to do too much of that because we are making a video here. So we got to keep things moving along for you guys. So let's head on back over this way. Those are marauders down there, aren't they? He says, as he says, after he said, let's go back and quit looking around. But there's loot down there. Wait, are those marauders? Yes, a marauder ringleader, a lookout, and a hooligan. Very interesting. I hope we have, like, grenades in this game, because we could just lob a grenade down there at those guys. Well, I don't know. Should we mess with them? Maybe we better turn our quest in. I need to die. Before we uh, got everything turned in. There's a bunch of stuff on the landing pad we could probably explore, too. He's just a guard, or a technician. Alright, let's talk to Ludwig here. Bring us honor, soldier. You won't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Uh, sorta. Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. 
Rather use my imagination. Yeah, use your imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. Nice XP. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. Cantina, Oops. lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Oh, I accidentally... I accidentally forward, uh, advanced that when I didn't mean to, but apparently he's telling us he's got a weapon. Uh, you hid your secret weapon in a lavatory? Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. Oh, good point. <laughs> I guess they don't have to pee, do they? All right, I'll let you know if I find it. On the double, soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Okay. So apparently he's got a badass weapon in the cantina for us, and I'm all about badass weapons, so let's go... Let's go check that out. Terra Ray Biological Overview. Alright, so let's see. The cantina... Where was the cantina? I think it's over this way. Something got you down? Spacer's Choice. So I said it was in the bathroom. Uh, are the bathrooms upstairs? This was uh, her living quarters though, right? Oh, does the quest give us a marker? Uh, die robot. Find Ludwig's secret weapon. Ludwig revealed that he's tucked away a secret weapon in Edgewater to be used in the event of a mechanical uprising. He decided to entrust weapon to you to aid in the crusade. The weapon should be in the bathroom of Edgewater's cantina. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, um... Where's the bathroom at? Oh, here we go. There we go. Ludwig's bundle. Um, how do we get to it? Oh, right. Okay, so what do we get? Oh, it's not an actual weapon. It's a quest item. Wait, what? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's uh, it's not an actual tangible item that we get until, because I already had this stun baton thing in my doodle, until we go turn it into him. My guess is. Now we've got to look at these maps mods too at some point okay yeah let's go turn it in if you're falling sick I don't want you to... I think we want to go out this way don't we Transition to Emerald Vale, Terror on Monarch, with Ruth Bellamy and Halcyon Helen. Okay. Bring us honor, soldier. I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit, designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. The hand of the law. You nice. ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Ludwig, sounds like fun. How do I use this injury customizing unit exactly? There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth oh, it's into a glorious battle. I see, okay. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Yeah, we gotta go there anyway. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. 
You need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Actually, we've already done that. Um, yeah, what do you expect I'll find down there? I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. All right, um, and how am I supposed to get one of these? Well, I kill, kill the robot and take it out of his head. So what are you planning? Don't tell anyone. Okay, right. mom's the word. I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Um, Edgewater is in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contact. Well, excuse <laughs> me. What I meant was I'm going to get a oh, contact. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. <laughs> I like this guy. How am I supposed to get one of these the specials? If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. Oh, okay. Uh, Pavarotti, is a logic module something you can help with? I don't reckon so. What? I thought I you were... I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and uh, mechanical okay, brains I got outside you. my ken. I got you. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes, calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. <laughs> she might be. <laughs> if uh, you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your Oh, memory. well, that makes me feel much better. Thank you. All right. So we can do some mods over here on this workbench. Um, all right, so he said put it on our favorite weapon. Well, so far, my favorite weapon's kind of been this shotgun. But I want to start using this a little bit more, too. Um, that uses heavy. So can we tinker now? We can. Look at that. So to tinker, we need 50... Uh, whatever that icon is. Isn't that the money? Yeah, it is the money. Alright, let's do this. So this does 180 DPS. Uh, do you want to tinker the light assault rifle? It'll cost 50 bits and it'll add 1.8 damage. Sure. Let's do the same thing with the sho shoddy too. You know what we should be doing though? Let's do it with the one that's fully repaired. Um, here, we gotta switch it around here. Okay. So, uh, sawed off shotgun, tinker. That adds two more points of damage to it. Nice. Uh, we might as well do the same thing to our pistol since we got the money. Um, and we want to do it. Nah, let's not do it with the melee weapon. 110 DPS. Hers already to oh she's because she's already got a modification on her. okay nice all right now let's um let's break down this is break down uh, I think I'll I'll break down all of those too because we can use those parts then to repair these guys so let's go to repair and hit E to repair wait a minute. What, how much, how badly is it damaged though? Oh, it's not, it says it's already at 100%. What the hell? All right, we don't need to repair that right now. All right, let's go to modify. So, for our shotgun, um, so we put the, no, we haven't done a mod yet. Okay, so, mag 2 power, mag 2 zap. Changes the weapon's damage type to shock. Damage type shock. This modification electrically charges the chambered round immediately before firing. Upon impact, the round discharges electrocuting the target. Uh, all right. Yeah. Oh, we got two of these actually. Okay. Before we do that, I want to. I want to just check something. So this has 187 DPS right now. 
Okay, so if we modify it and we add one of these, it still has 187 DPS, but now it's shock damage. Okay, so I don't know if that made it less effective against humans and more effective against robots or what, but... Let's do this. Well, actually here, let's go back to here. What does this do? This changes the weapons damage type to plasma. Okay, I think plasma is supposed to be good against humans. Superheats the bullets which explode into plasma when fired. Um. Hmm. We could apply this to our shotgun, I guess. Or we could apply it to our pistol. Or we could apply it to the assault rifle, and then we could snipe on um, marauders with plasma. Maybe that's what we'll do. Let's try that. Oh, E. There we go. And if we wanted to, we could also make this shocky shock. Let's just do it. What the hell? You know, this this may turn out to not be such a good idea later, but then you know, then we'll know for next time. Alright, I think we're good. Um we could Contain, I wonder how far... I think we can tinker up to five levels higher than we currently are. And I mean, what else are we going to do with this money, right? It it gets more expensive each time we do it, though. But let's, um, let's raise these up, all of these up, at least one more level. That gives us 735 bits. That increases their damage uh, a little bit more too, and let's let's just go with that and see how that works. All right, guys. Well, we are out of time, uh, so hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that. Oh, what do you oh, think you're whoops. doing? Um, sorry. <laughs> um, intimidate, whatever I want. Persuade. I was just leaving. I ain't bribing him here. Let's just say, dude, I was just testing my lock picking skills. That's all I was doing. I don't have time for this. Dang. He didn't uh, appreciate us doing that. Dervish missed. I think that's for our thing. Can we close this door? <laughs> okay. So now that we did that, let's go back to breakdown. And let's break this thing down because this thing sucks. Well, I don't know if it sucks, but <clears throat> I don't like it. What else did we get out of that? We got that dervish mist stuff. Oh! How did that slot get unlocked? Does it just automatically unlock when we uh, find something to put in there? Interesting. So what does this do? Adrenaline booster movement speed is 20%, melee weapon attack speed is 20% in the last 15 seconds. That's probably going to come in handy. <clears throat> I wonder what, uh, oh, okay, so there's, looks like there's, two, no, I don't know how many charges there are. Because this, we have 17 of the Adrenos. We must just have only one charge of that, I'm guessing. Hmm, okay, we'll figure it out. All right, anyway, um, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's share out the video and leave a comment. Those things do help, and I do appreciate it. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.